Hi, I'm JP Ross. I'm from upstate New York. My favorite band is Sleeping Giant. My favorite food is pasta. I'd like to share with you a testimony about Let Us Worship that happened on October 25th. I went to DC to intercede, to pray with people on the left and pray with people on the right. It's so important in this time to not just follow your heart, but go to Jesus and realize that we're family. Later that night, we went out for dinner. We get to this restaurant and my friend Josh is like, bro, like you gotta, you gotta meet our waiter. He's so cool. I start talking to him. I'm like, what's your name? And he's like, my name's Ron. And I just saw him like, going and getting anything we needed. And he's just like, guys, if you wanna encourage me, you know, you could you could write on Yelp or Google a review um, that you had a good service. I went on Google and I wrote this review. I've been in business for a long time and I just feel like he's got upper management all over him. If I lived in DC, I would come here and I'd ask for Ronnie. I write the review. I tell my friend, she's like, I just gave him a word exactly like that review. She's like, come here, Ronnie, come here. I show him the review, he's like, bro, oh my God. We get out of the restaurant and Ronnie shows up. And he's like, what are you guys up to? Some of us are gonna go to the memorial. We're gonna pray. He's like, can I come? We get in the car and he's like, hey, I got a confession. I'm a Trump supporter. I started becoming more religious and I've been like really trying to change. All his friends had abandoned him and discarded him because he was a Trump supporter. I was just like, you know, I'm gonna pray for you and you're gonna know Jesus. He prays and confesses his belief in Jesus. He's like, are you guys drunk? And um, I'm like, nah, that's in the Bible. <laughs> He's like, what? I show him where it says they were coming against Peter. And Peter was like, my good fellows, we're not drunk. It's nine in the morning. So he's like, that's amazing. That's exactly what I said to you. And I said, yeah, man, it's because Holy Spirit is showing you these things. Like God loves you. He knows you. He has a plan for your life. You served us, but God wants to serve you. We get to the memorial. I said, bro, before the prophet talks to you, I just want to warn you. They're going to say stuff and they're going to be like, how do they know that? I'm like, because God knows who you are. Ronnie gets the word from the prophet. The prophet breaks down everything that happened in his life. He's crying. He's like, that's so creepy, but in a good way. I go back to New York. The next day I text him. Like, hey man, I just want to follow up so it wasn't like some creepy Christian thing. How are you? And he's like, I'm so good. I'm on my way to California. I'm sharing the good news. I just wanted to say that's why we went to Let Us Worship. People need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. They need to hear that even though they're looking for these political things, God wants to meet them. And he wants to love them where they're at. And he wants to give them courage to speak their truth and stand with each other and love each other. No matter what we look like, no matter what side of the aisle we're on, Jesus wants to show up and do for you what he did for Ronnie. I love you guys, thank you so much.